Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those who are new here, my name is Kent, and today I'll be doing this makeup look right here. So I use the Dose of Colors Desi XKT Frankation Palette. And we'll get more into the palette in the video. And I also did a cut crease slightly different. So I added the cut crease to my nose and not from my inner corner of my eyes. I added it to my nose and I do like it. I like it. It shows more. So maybe I'll do this technique a little bit more. And I talk more about my hair. Trust me, please don't judge until you watch the video. But yeah so if you want to see how i get this done just keep on watching hi guys so today i'm going to go in with the dose of colors desi xkt palette the frankation palette so today i'm going to go in with the desi xkt frankation palette and i think i want to use like this shade, this shade, and this shade. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll see where it takes me. I think I want to do like use those shades. I don't know. For some reason, I want to use those three shades together on my lid. So I already primed with my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. I don't understand why I'm creasing. I don't normally crease on my eyes, but maybe I added too much. So first, I'm going in with this palette, the P. Louis. First, I'm going in with the P. Louis palette. I really love this palette. Like, I really love these two shades. These two shades. Well, these three shades. I don't know. For some reason, I can't do any look without using either one, like using one of them. So I'm going to go in with the orange shade to pack that on my lid when I turn on this light. Okay, I'm going to use, and I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush. I just really love this orange one. the hardest it's probably it is it, it's the hardest wig I've ever made in my life like, why didn't anyone tell me that front are are so hard to make so when I take it off I'm gonna just just build up oh it look here just I say guys it's very hard to make it's very hard and you can't make baby ears I feel so defeated but it doesn't look bad so it's not terrible for my first time it's not a terrible wig but it's hard man frontals are hard i mean if i make another i'm gonna know what to do and what not to do but huh, you know you can't it, it don't know if you can do something to try it and yeah i think i can you know it just Sometimes just want to say, okay, I'm better, but it came out okay. It came out okay. So I want to take this shade all the way into where my nose is. So I want to have a cut crease, but I want the cut crease to start to start right here by my nose. So not down here, but like right here, if that makes sense. I'm going to try to 
bring this shade to the side of my nose. Then I'm going to take the mustard shade, which is probably my favorite shade in the palette. And I'm going to use this elf brush. So I bought these elf brushes. This is the fluffy eye blender brush. And I need like 10 more because it's pretty it's pretty pretty bomb. I need like 10 more of these brushes. It was on sale, but elf is always on sale. I think I got this for like two, three dollars. And I bought like three. Probably gonna buy like 10 more because they are literally the truth. Like I love these brush. I love this brush. I'm just going to blend the first shade. So I'm finished with the Pillowies palette and I'm going in with the Dose of Colors palette and I think I'm going to take probably this shade probably yeah, I'm going to try this shade I'm not sure if it will show up over the orange but let's see using the same MAC 217 brush This palette has a little kickback, but I really don't mind. This is the first time I'm using it on myself. I've used it once on my client, on, on a client, and it worked pretty awesome. I used, I used this shade and this shade, and I love it. Now I'm going to take this shade, I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush, just to, this shade is very, 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 very dark, I think. We used it, yeah, yeah, it's very dark, and this has a lot of kickback. I'm just going to take this shade further, blend it in my crease. I'm kind of skipping on this eye. I think it's because of my concealer. I may have added a bit too much. But as I said, I used this palette before and it was pretty fine. Had no problem. But I think it was a concealer. I may have added too much. I'm trying to blend that as best as possible. Do you see? There, the line between. Let's see on this side of the spine. Like that. You see that? I don't see on camera. Oh, it's a bum. Sorry. So this is a bum on my eye. Also, I have another one here. Another one here. I don't know why I'm bringing on on my eye. So I'm skipping on this eye, just on this one. Mm. Also, this was the, this eye was creasing a hell of a lot, so maybe that's the reason too. Because I can only do one eye at a time, because I don't want the concealer to crease. I'm just going to do this eye. So, do you see how I made the cut crease? I made the cut crease all the way on my nose, a little. So not from this way, going this way, when it from like a straight, it goes straight. So I'm just going to take a clean brush to blend the edges of the concealer. I'm going to go with this and this. Okay, so I'm going to take this very pretty blue shade first and a BH Cosmetics brush. 
I think I want to add some setting spray. So I'm going to take my Mara Badescu spray. I'm going to spray that first, not too much. Just add that to the outer Use my e.l.f. crease brush. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would have been. I did this eye off camera so I understand with the palette using the shadows dry are better than using them wet no no I, don't, I can't remember watching any reviews on this palette of how to use these shadows but it worked better using dry than wet on this side so take that into consideration if you have this palette um, I've never, I don't know how to feel this eye makeup, I don't know, you know, you need some, you need some, you don't like some, you never like some. So I did the rest of my face off camera, my eyelash gave me a fight, but whatever. I'm going to add some black eyeliner. Take the shade and then on my underwear lash line. I'm going to add. A dose of colors. What do you call this? Over the top gloss. I think I want to add something underneath. I'm trying to look for something to add underneath. What about this? This is from ColourPop. It's their Ultra Matte in the shade Strip. It's a little in the center. It doesn't look bare. Add over the top gloss. So, because I have both, I'm going to add the other lip gloss from Dosa Colors. It's called the most. It's because this white, you know, clear. I'm just going to use. Second spray. Okay, so this is the wig that I made. Mm, I don't know how this looks, but the thing is, how my hair, is, how my hair grows, my sideburns are way down here. So it's either put glue on my sideburns or yeah this is as best as it gets remember it's my first time please don't judge 
so I know you can see the lace right here I don't want to cut it off because once you cut it off it's done for you know you can't get it back so I don't know maybe I'll put some glue there in the future or something but just for now don't really mind it but yeah this is my body wave here that I've had for probably two years I just bought a frontal I mean let's look let's look how I did so first of all I can't make baby ear I can't make baby ear for shit I don't know why but I can't make baby ear so it was so hard but I may have plucked a little too much right here I may have plucked a little too much right here but right here not terrible I mean you can see the lace I can't be like what lace but I'm a first time you know it not look it not look terrible like tell me I don't look terrible you think this look terrible I look for me it ain't look bad like it don't look bad so I think I did okay for my first time and it still needs a little love but I can the show but it can fix mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my body, my body could use, my body could use. My didn't know, come can make wig, but just my body could use for frontal. So you know, the second time I make a frontal, take a look even better, and the third one take a look even better. So I'm kind of like my eye makeup once everything finished you now. I didn't like it before. I'm kind of like it now. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. Mm, so for the palette, I really like this shade. I like this shade even though it skipped today on me maybe it's the concealer I don't know but it didn't skip on my client at all so I don't know I like this shade also I like these two shades once you use them dry once you use them wet they look pretty suckish so um I like the palette and I like the palette like I don't have anything bad to say about the palette and um yeah so uh, that is it for this tutorial guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video